Late, okay. Uh, pero, yes. ilang buwan na naman. 40 plus years na pala ako, June. Yeah, oo nga, ang bongga. So, nakakapagtaka na 28 years old po si Tops Pinatis. Yes. Pero, more than 40 years na siya sa showbiz. Paano nangyari yun? Huwag nyo nang questionin yun. Basta ganun talaga mga bagay-bagay. <laughs> pero this afternoon, syempre, bukod sa pag-uusapan natin ang uh, uh, Always Love, itong... Uh, show mo sa The Chatter at Soler, February 9 and 10. Siyempre, maraming mga bagay na pwede kayong tanungin kay Pops, di ba? Isa na siyang low lady. Oo oh, yeah. nga, it seems to be the topic. That's the newest thing uh, na, well, hindi naman nangyari sa amin. Kila kuya at kanya. No? So, yun yung latest happening and a lot of people have been asking me. Um, so, uh, throw away your questions. Ayan, pwede na. Siyempre, ang dami natin dito. Dapat small press ko lang ko, pero we decided nga na, sige, kasi ang dami rin gusto mag-interview kay Pab. So, yung original... Ah, that... actually, uunahin na kita, June. Uh, bago tayo mag-umpisa, I have to say na ever since in-announce ko at nalaman uh, ng mga katrabaho ko dati and even co-artists uh, na magkaka-concert ako, natouch ako dahil ang dami-dami-daming nagme-message sa akin showing their support. Yung iba na go-offer na uh, they just wanna be part of production. Uh, gusto lang nilang tumulong. They want to be a part of Always Love, the concert. Uh, even uh, my fellow singers. So, na natouch ako kasi sabi ko, oh, uh, parang it, it meant so much. Kasi nga, hindi ko kailangan mag-knock on on, on doors and uh, I wasn't really expecting the the reaction to be that way. Sila mismo yung nag-reach out, nag-text na kung anumang bagay uh, para lang makatulong sila sa production gagawin nila. So, uh, I, I was very uh, overwhelmed by that. Maraming salamat. So, oh, ang dami mong guest dito? Um, hindi naman ganun kadami. Ah, uh, medyo uh, piling-pili rin naman. Yes. Yung iba, pwede kong i-announce. Yung iba, pa-surprise muna. Ayan. So, sino yung mga pwede? Ang um, pwede kong i-announce. And bakit sila? Dahil kung napanood nyo po, yung very, very first concert ko sa Folk Arts Theater, which is Folks Meet Pops, dalawa po sila na naging guest ko doon. So, sa first major concert ko. And that will be Gary Valenciano and Martin Yavera. So, nagpapasalamat po ako na umuo silang mag-guest sa aking concert, Always Love. Yung iba po, surprise. Ayan. What year was that? 83, I think that was 1983. Mm -hmm. Ayan. Bago, bago ka pa, pa ipanganak. Bago pa ako pinanganak. Mm -hmm. Yun na yun. Huwag na nang questionin yung mga bagay na yun. Ganun talaga. Pero ang bongga, ang bigat, bigat, ang laki-laki na itong uh, Always Love, na people. Well, uh, that depends on how you look at it. For me, it's going to be, uh, it's it's going to be a huge production. Why? Because like I said, ang tagal ko na po, hindi na ko concert. It's been 12 years na pala since my very last major concert so we want uh, we want something bonga for uh, for my audience again so magsasayaw sayo ka rin dito katulad ka uh, pretty much yes so, yes tanda yes, ko yes. sa ultra mo grabe kasi ako nagsasayaw ayun o dapat sumayaw ka ngayon dito syempre um, uh, meron tayong pati bang Yes, 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 of course. Um, we have hired, we, we are actually working with the a, with a people that I used to work with. Bakit? By choice, because again, it's my celebration. So I want to be able to celebrate with uh, these very talented people. Una, una na po, siyempre, si uh, Derek Rowell Santiago. Ayan, gusto ko si Derek Rowell dahil ang feeling ko, Si Ruel, kilala kilala na niya ako, both personally and, and as an artist. And alam ko na, alam na ni Ruel ang mga bagay na kaya kong gawin, hindi ko kaya. Gusto kong gawin at hindi ko gusto gawin. Ayan, at syempre napaka, napakadaling katrabaho ni Ruel. Uh, 
ang musical director ko po dito dahil ang talagang original love team ha, June, is Pops and Homer Flores. Dahil ang very first single ko po, uh, kasama ko na kagad si Homer Flores. So, uh, I'm very, very happy na okay na okay po si Tito Homer. Of course, nagkaroon po siya ng surgery, but he's very fine. I visited him the other day, and he's very excited to actually perform with me, with me and be with me on February 9 and 10. And of course, uh, aking choreographer naman po at tutulong sa mga sayaw-sayaw is uh, G-Force, si Jersel. So, sana kayanin ko yung mga papagawa ni Jersel. Yeah, oh, ang galing mo naman, Pipa, eh. Tsaka dapat uh, uh, at 28 nagsasayaw ka <laughs> Pero yan, sisimulan na natin. Alam mo, Pipa, eh, syempre dumating kahit si Tita Lolit na excited siya. Sabi niya kanina, hindi mo ako inimba, hindi ko maalam kung aatin ka ng alas 5. Kaya nga, thank you, Pero, Manay Lord. Pinangakuha ko siya ng to go. To go, ayun. Huwag <laughs> ka mag-alala. Na-order na ba? O, yeah, o-order rin na pagkatapos mo mag... Ikaw na unang magtanong, Tita Lolly. Siyempre, isa ka sa mga tunay na nakakakilala rin kay Pops, di ba? Sige na, ayaw ka tulayan mo na din talk show host ka, no? <laughs> Kaya dito ka na nominate. Ito, sasaluhin na lang siya ng bagong preset, presidentita yan, ng uh, speed ng uh, Society of Philippine Entertainment Editors, Miss Salde Asis. Ayan na. Ito naman ko naman eh. Congratulations. Ano kayo, madam? Ay, umayo ka. No? Bawal Hello. mahiya. Hi, Pops. Hello. Ano, so since anniversary concert dito, may mga flashback talaga dito. I think the flashbacks will happen throughout the show and it's mostly the songs that um, that will be the flashback. No? Like I said, pinag-isipan uh, maigi and we wanted to please, we want to please uh, yung audience namin on February 9 and 10. So ano ba yung uh, dapat gawin? So sabi namin, syempre yung songs. Magbibring, magbibring back kami ng madaming highlights from my past concerts. Ayan. Because that is what I have been known for, di ba? Thank you. Tapos, Pops, pwede magtanong, kamusta yung pagiging Lola? Hindi ko pa nakikita si Baby Finn, pero um, excited akong makita siya. Excited akong uh, mahawakan siya, maharga siya. I think that's the only time I will really feel na certified lolly ako. Ngayon, tinatawa ko lang yung sarili ko na lolly. Alam na alam ko na na pag nangyari yan, hindi ko mapipigilan na iya ko dahil iyakin naman talaga ako by nature, especially when it comes to my family. So, um, sinabi ko nga earlier, uh, hindi ko pa rin ma-imagine. The reason why na nasisenti ako is, first and foremost, hindi ko pa ma-imagine na ang aking panganay is already a dad. So, isa yun sa kinakasenti ko. But I'm sure he will be a very, very good parent. Dahil, uh, um, alam ko, Kuya is very loving and very responsible. No? Um, so, yun. Siguro, mas madadama ko yan pag nagkita na kami. Yeah, thank you. Ano kaya nakita, Lolly? Pag tanong ka, Isa lang, marami ka naman ano, nung kanina, ang dami mga komento o kanika dito. Sige na. Sige na, magaling ka. <laughs> <laughs> parang, parang hindi ako makapaniwala na yasin man na yung lolly. Hindi ako na yung yan, nalaloka lang ako. Nalaloka. <laughs> Gusto niya kasi ibigay doon muna yung tugon niya. Magtanong ka muna bago oil. Kaya nga. Hindi, Pops. Hindi, Pops. Talaga nung lagi mo sinasabi, hanga-hanga ako sa inyo. Dalawa ni Martin. Kaya yung himalay na kopon na nakita ko, very friendly siya isa't isa. Anong sekreto yung dalawa? Well, Manay, that took quite a while, no? Ilang taon rin yan. So it's a lot of, uh, it's, syempre, kailangan muna uh, mahilom ang uh, mga pinagtama ba hilom? Ang pinagdaanan. And nung, nung na-realize ko na ma, parang okay na, no? Na, na nag-heal na nga. Uh, nung nag-decide naman ako to to be friends, serious naman talaga ako doon man ay. I, op I opted to be friends. And why? Because nga, because of Robin and Ram. I felt that 
we will have a better relationship kung magiging okay kami at magiging friends kami. Yung mga ibang bagay kasi hindi na yun mababalik. So kailangan i-accept na lang and we have to move forward. So uh, now that uh, medyo matagal-tagal na rin kaming friends, di ba? Uh, I think, and I also have to give it to Martin, I always say it works both ways. Uh, respect comes. Uh, respect is a big factor, no? So we will, we want to respect each other as, uh, as parents and as friends, and of course, as, as partners also as, uh, in performing. So I think that's why uh, nagiging uh, successful kami in that aspect. And you can't deny naman na talaga namang uh, yung chemistry naman talaga namin ni Martin is undeniable. Ako rin minsan nag-uulat na hindi kami nag-uusap pero alam mo madami kaming mga bagay-bagay na naiisip. Uh, because I think Martin and I are really meant to be partners on stage. To be partners on stage. Diba? Tama naman ako, diba? Yan, okay. At eto, uh, to do at follow up dyan. Kasi uh, masyado siyang kinilig. Oh. <laughs> Kahit on stage. Eh. Eto si Tessa, Mauricio Ariola. Kinilig ka ba? Hi, <laughs> super. Hello, Pops. Hi. I'm over here. So yes, I'm yes. I know. I know, I know. So if your lollipops, has Martin decided kung anong tawag sa kanya? Actually, na-pressure si Martin ang cute nung lolly. Diba? Eh. Oh. Um, hindi ko alam. Ay, ay, uh, parang wala pa yata siyang naiisip na name. As of now, he's just a, a grampy. So, ano na lang, di ba? Dapat kanya-kanyang, ano, uh -oh. di ba? <laughs> like you got lolly. I said grampy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But, um, Pops, can we, if we can talk about your new single, it sounds really, you know, very now, as we all know, you know, reinvention is really the key to why you've, you know, you've come 40 years, you know. Um, I can hear you mention my uh, Filipino na, na phrase within, you know, a, a song that's English. We're talking about Get It Pop. Yes, now. Get It, yes. Um, can you describe it and how, um, you know, is it, how would you describe that sound now? Is it mention my pagka... Well, they say it's P-pop. 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 Yes, yes. And um, it is actually a follow-up of Always Love. If, if you listen to the lyrics, follow up your lyrics no Always Love because Always Love talks about self-love um, and reassuring yourself that even if you are single or alone, you're never really alone because God loves us also, diba? So, get get it poppin'. Ang dami nang tatanong, what does it mean? Can mean anything. But get it poppin' means, mas kinaanong sabihin nila, you have to be confident with what you're doing with your life. Diba? Kahit ano man ang uh, gawin sa'yo, uh, kung ano man ang parinig nila, don't worry about them. They will always have to say something. Just know and be confident that you know what you're doing and what you're doing is right. So uh, besides the concert in February, how will you get popping in your 40th year in the industry? Uh, madami kaming mga, madami silang uh, marirecognize na songs. Uh, at the end of the day, ayoko mag, ayaw namin masyado maging serious. We, it is a uh, 40 plus year celebration. Uh, uh, so it is an anniversary celebration. It is a celebration because I have not done a show. So in that aspect, I celebrate din ako. It is also pre-Valentine, so that is another celebration. So at the end of the day, gusto ko nag -e enjoy lang yung audience ko. Well, ito yung two nights na pagpasok niyo doon, let's just have fun. Bawal mag-isip. Para ka nanood ng pelikula, for one and a half to two hours, nage enjoy lang kayo, makakarelate kayo sa mga kakantahin ko. Sana po, eh, maging game sila at syempre mag-participate sila through singing and dancing. And I'm hoping that everybody lets their hair down because this is the time na we can, you know, no matter how old, uh, no matter what genre, it is the time to celebrate because that those two nights are my two nights of celebration. So, 
yun na nga, ina-invite ko sila maki-celebrate with me. We look forward to uh, the party. The party. Yes, it will be a huge yes. party. Thank and you. And congratulations, Pops. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ayan, thank you, Miss Tessa. Ito, uh, ito napaka-bongga na ito. Ito, Reyno ng Abante. At uh, syempre napaka-bongga ng YouTube niya. Uh, Don Don Sermino. Oo, oh, pinapalok si Don Don. Talaga? Sushi. Yeah, sa kanyang IG. Ayan. Ayan. Hi, Pops. Kasi na-mention kanina yung si Jorcel, di ba? So, um, um, pwede mag, ano, mag-share ka ng content. Pwede mong gawin. Like, kasi yun ang strength mo din dati. Yung talagang bong ang sayawan, costume. Ngayon ba maipapalit yun? Mapapanood ulit namin? Uh, yun ang idea. Maybe <laughs> that's the idea, right? That's why... Um, at yun naman talaga yung isa sa strengths ko, di ba? Singing and dancing. So, syempre mag adjust ako ng konti. Um, it's been quite a while. And uh, and I know, alam na alam ni Jersen yung mga bagay sa akin na steps, di ba? Uh, so that's why uh, G-Force will be a part of it. Because even before, nakatrabaho ko na rin syempre ang G-Force. So, everything that we will do is up to what I can do. Kung ano yung... Uh, bagay sa akin, kaya ko. Uh, but yes, there will be singing and dancing. Like I said, it's gonna be two nights of partying. So, sana yung audience ko is ready to party with me. And so far, Pops, ano yung kaya mo? Although nakita na namin yung kaya mo talaga. <laughs> so now ba, ano pa yung kaya mo? Alam mo, ako rin, excited rin ako malaban kung ano ba talaga yung kaya ko. Pero alam ko, kakayanin ko. Bakit? Kasi hindi ko naman gagawin kung hindi ko kaya. I'm very honest with myself. So, pag alam kong medyo hindi ko na kaya yan, hindi natin pipilitin. So, kung ano lang yung kayang-kaya ko. So, kaya pa ang 20 songs with 10 production numbers? Uh, kaya pa naman. Actually, madami-dami nga yung songs. As far as the production numbers, uh, madaming production numbers. I'm not, uh, hindi ako sure kung ilan yon. But almost every song is a production number. When you say it's a production number, yes. it doesn't have to be a song and dance number, yes. diba? It just means that it's a song, and of course, uh, with the help of my guests, magiging is a major production number. Okay. Last na lang, kasi na-mention mo rin kanina na uh, yung mga ibang singers din, parang gusto nilang mag-participate. And so far, ilan na ang inagrihan mo or when I'll come out to be part of the show, of the concert? Basta, sila yung mga surprise. Oh. <laughs> so, yun. Yung iba kasi, they also sent word, but unfortunately, hindi nagtugma sa schedule. Everybody's gonna be busy on February. But damang-dama ko yung support ng aking mga co-singers. And of course, like I said, yung mga nakatrabaho ko pa from years before, sobrang hindi ko na sila nakakausap. Pero nagpaparamdam sila na gusto nga nilang tumulong. So doon pa lang, nakaka... It gives me energy. Alam mo, sinabi ko kanina, there are days, sobra ako excited. Kasi nga, wow, may concert. Then there are days na, hey, nininervious ako, di ba? It depends. So every time I, I would get messages like that, mas uh, nagiging confident ako, syempre. At mas na-excite ako. So maraming maraming salamat sa lahat na nag-reach nag out sa akin to show their support. And thank you and good luck sa concert. Thank you. I hope you, you guys can watch talaga. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Don Don. At si Ana. Si Ana. Huh? Nag-raise si Ana. At, yeah, may, kasi manggagaling mula dito sa ah, Bicol. Sige, sige, Papunta sige. sa Harap. Ay, meron sistema si Jun Lali. Kasi uh, yung mas maliit na sa Harap. <laughs> Si Gordy Rula, ka Gordy Rula, ng GCRH. May tanong muna si Ana. Si Ana muna. Ay, may ganun. Pinasa pa rin kay Ana. Ayan. Ako, hindi na babalik dito ka na babi ang night, ha? People I always love. Always love ka naman talaga. Pero, specifically sa buhay mo, when do you feel most love? Every day I feel love. Yun na nga yung song. You have to feel love. Pag, there was a time kasi na kinwestion ko yung sarili ko na lahat naman tayo, di ba? We go through that. Lalong lalo na when we're going through something very serious in our lives, whether it's uh, 
personal or professional. Nakakalimutan natin na madami pala tayo mga dapat pasalamatan. Ayan. Kasi mas naiisip natin yung, ay kawawa naman tayo, I'm going through this. No, every day I feel we should always be grateful. Kasi hindi naman natin maliiwasan yung mga challenges sa buhay. Meron pa rin, meron pa rin naman ako niyan, no? Uh, sometimes little challenges, sometimes, oh my God, major challenges. Pero I have learned to be grateful every morning. Para makalimutan ko, yun ang parati ko iniisip. Today, I'm gonna be grateful and today, I thank God. Para bago man lang ako makaisip ng problema, napaalala ko na sa sarili ko na there are so many things to be grateful for and I am loved today. Pero kailan ka huling na-touch ng isang gesture of love? Ay, mga anak ko parang. Pag mga anak ko, syempre, and family ko, it's a big deal for me and I'm always touched. Uh, little things. A phone call makes me cry. Uh, even my friends. I have very, very good friends. And doon pa lang, natatouch ako. Kasi yung mga little things na alala ko, nagmi-message. Ah... Uh, Ha, minsan nagpapadala ng pagkain na hindi mo ina-expect. Alam mo yung mga ganong bagay. Uh, I, I get really touched. Uh, and, and, and as you get older, uh, yun yung mga bagay that means more to you. Pag bata ka kasi siguro, uh, madami ka pang iniisip, ang dami pang nangyayari. But as you, uh, as you mature, little things sometimes mean more, di ba? Okay, last na lang. Free Valentine to. Oo oh, nga. So, free ka sa Valentine's Day. Ano Sobra ka, akong ano, free. Ano gagawin mo? <laughs> Pinapa-announce ko na. Normally, uh, this is true ha. On Valentine's Day, I have a group of girlfriends and lahat kami single. So, we usually spend Valentine's together. Ayan, meron na kaming uh, meron na kaming pack na habang single kami, or maski na meron ng love life, kami-kami pa rin na magsiselebrate ng 14, February 14. I'm hoping that by then, nandito na si Ram because Ram will be coming. So I am hoping to spend it also with Ram and my girlfriends. Okay. Thank you. Okay, ako na, Pops. Diretso na ako. Ayan na. Okay. Oo, kasi kanina na tinawag, di ba? Babaguhin ko lang yung rule ni, ano, Jude. Oo, oh, tapos And, dito na next, ha? Oo. And then, kasi kanina naputol yung kwentuhan natin, di ba? Yung tungkol na dun sa ako mo. Nasabi namin, kung, na, kung if ever mag magkaroon ka ng another, ng isang production number sa concert mo, bagay talaga siguro yung Little Star. Ayan. So, yung kanta na yun, hindi mo pa ba kayang kantahin yun Actually, sa concert mo? Eh, ito totoo yan, dalawang kanta, Dito and Little Star. I always say it, I rarely sing them because those songs, Dito reminds me of my dad, Little Star reminds me of my early beginnings. So, hirap na hirap ako parate, pero yes, gagawin ko yan dito sa, sa concert ko because, of course, they are a part of my 40 years at, at yan yung mga meaningful songs sa akin. So, tama naman. Na, na-realize ko rin, ang bagong little star nga ngayon is si Baby Finn. So, paano yan? Mas lalo na naman ako iiyak. <laughs> But yes, now that, now that song has a totally different meaning for me. Pero yun na nga, I'm sure si Robin, uh, Robin is a very good musician. I'm sure magkakaroon na rin siya ng song para kay Baby Finn na magiging original and his very own. So, abangan po natin yan. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yaan, ito naman mga kaibigan natin from TikTok. Ayan, uh, si Diva Star ba ito? Ayan, kilala talaga ni Pops. Nag-meet na kami, ayan. Yaan, siyempre yan, Diva Star. Hello, Hello, thank you so much. Thank you for attending our press con. Thank you. Yes, in your 40 years, pare ko, uro kami. Define longevity, di ba? You've been in the industry for the past 40 years. And, aminin naman natin, hindi, purihin muna kita, Miss Pops, sa lahat ng singers and performers until now, pag sinabi sa aking Pops Fernandez, ang maaalala ko ay yung Pops Fernandez lang, yung singer and performer na kayang kumanta at sumayaw ng live at the same time. It really comes from the heart ko. 
Oh, thank so we you. love you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, so the question is very simple, pero medyo complicated po siguro. So, uh, what's your secret for this longevity in your career? Uh, oh, wow. I actually did not expect myself to be in the business for this long. Nung bata ako at nag-uumpisa lang ako, pag bata ka kasi, di ba, back then especially, pag sinabi mong 10 years, ang tagal na nung 10 years, di ba? So, nung nag-uumpisa pa lang ako, tinatanong ako, Daddy, how long do you see yourself in the business? Ang usual answer ko nung baguhan pa lang ako is, 10 years. I think I'm gonna be in the business for 10 years. Why? Because in my mind, ang tagal-tagal na nung 10 years. Pag naka 10 years ako, feeling ko, ang tagal ko na sa showbiz, no? But fate will have it na mas tatagal pa pala ako unexpectedly. Because 10 years went by so fast, and before I knew it, ang dami na rin nangyari sa buhay ko, uh, personally and professionally. At nagtuloy-tuloy na talaga siya. Again, it was an unexpected thing for me. And I think I did not really, I'll be honest, hindi ko masyado na-enjoy ang ginagawa ko uh, until after siguro, ito totoo to, nahiwalay ako. <laughs> I, I enjoyed it then, but I appreciated, I appreciated it more nung uh, single na ako. Bakit? Kasi doon ko na-realize, shucks, wala na akong partner. Mas sanay kasi ako na meron akong partner, meron akong kaduit. Parang it was so easy. And let's face it, Martin really, uh, he was my director, siya yung pipili ng mga kanta ko. It was very easy for me. And again, performing on stage with Martin is the easiest. It's, it's not even... It's not even performing. It's not even working. It's an instant thing. And the rapport is just there. So, mas nadama ko yung siguro pressure kaya sinasabi ko mas na-enjoy ko kasi now I realize, wow, I'm really on my own. Kaya ko ba? Kaya ko bang mag-perform on my own? May ganun eh, kasi nag-adjust ako. Aside from the fact that uh, I was going through so much personally, now sabi ko, oh, Mag-isa na ako, kakanta ako mag-isa. Although gumagawa naman talaga pa ng concerts ko solo, nandun pa rin si Martin beside me, helping me. So now mag-isa na ako. I remembered uh, one of my first shows nung, nung ako na lang, no? Was in Captain's Bar. In Captain's Bar, favorite natin namin niya na perform, uh, venue na performing. Pero, maliit lang ang captain's bar. Pero alam mo, yung talagang nerv... I've never been so nervous. I was more nervous in performing in captain's bar than performing in all the other big venues that I performed in. Bakit? Kasi nga, sabi ko, shucks, mag-isa na talaga ako, kaya ko ba? And after that, uh, again, it's a small venue. Parang doon ako, parang nasabi ko sa sarili ko, kaya naman pala. Kaya ko sa small venue, into unti-untihin na natin, na palakihin na natin, alam mo yun. So, mas siguro naging passionate ako. Why? Because ngayon, ako na talaga nag-iisip uh, kung ano ba yung gagawin ko, ano ba yung concept, kakantahin ko. I'm not, uh, it, it's not a negative thing for Martin. I, I actually thank him. I always thank Martin because I feel I had to go through that for me to grow up also and mature personally and professionally. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Diva Star. Ito naman ang next na magtatanong, Diva din to. Uh, hindi, Diva, dahil ang bongga niya, lagi siyang una sa mga showbiz news. Oh, oh. Diva, so tinatanggap ko ng Diva ka? Ay, hindi pa rin. Let's all welcome MJ Malfori. Thank you, Tito June. Ms. Pops, congratulations once again. So, medyo take off lang to dun sa tanong ko kanina, but what kind of stories right now would make you pwede kong maligawan to go back? Maybe to acting? Akala ko maligawan, period. Ay, uh, hindi kasi, hindi kasi, <laughs> di ba ngayon, parang may search tayo ng mga producer doing offbeat stories. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, I mean, you... Your freshness fits the bill, diba? So, anong mga story kaya would entice you to go back to acting? 
Siguro something like, because for now, no, something like, because like I said, I haven't done a movie in a long time. Um, my last was Jaja Zatorna ba? Or Video Kicking? One, uh, one of those, no? Uh -huh. uh, one is a musical comedy. and uh, Both are musical comedies and I enjoy doing them. So, sana dun muna tayo. Uh, drama, um, siguro pag medyo nakagawa na ako at naging comfortable na uli ako in front of uh, uh, a movie camera, no? Yes, but I would love to do something a little bit like, gusto ko yung alam kong kaya kong gawin. Or malay mo action, parang uh, action star naman si Papa, di ba? Malay natin. Sino gusto mo makatamba, di Fever? Um, ako, hindi ako mapili, maski na sino. Uh, like I said, it's uh, it's gonna be another comeback for me. So, I will be very grateful just to be asked to do a movie again. Ayan. Thank you. Ready ka na itong mamaligawan ulit. Di ba, tamang-tama sabi mo, leap year ngayon, mamili. <laughs> leap year nga pala. Um, oo naman, pero kasi... Dati kasi, when I was uh, much younger, syempre yung naiinip ka, nag nagahanap ka, uh, you go out of your way. Ang um, um, ano ko ngayon is, um, ang belief ko ngayon is, when the right one comes, he will come. Hindi na dapat siya hinihintay. Darating na lang yan. Kung, uh, if there is really someone who's meant for me. Ayan. Kasi hindi naman ako sad. Hindi naman ako lonely. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm happy. So pag nangyari yan, ano na lang yan? Um, bonus na lang yan sa life ko. And uh, hopefully nga, that person will be somebody who I will grow old with. Yung hindi pili, di ba? Yung, yung bagay na bagay kami, nagkakaintindihan kami. At mag-travel na lang kami together, di ba? Enjoying life na talaga. Hello. 